Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out M.B. Gordy Boobams by Impact Soundworks. Famed Hollywood percussionist M.B. Gordy, who you've heard on hundreds of scores, has recorded the first ever Boom Bams Library team up with Impact Soundworks for a secret weapon percussion instrument that's long coveted by composers for its attack and punctuating timbre. Developers promising that Boo Bams will inject excitement and texture into your productions and is perfect for film, game, and TV scores. B. Gordy Percussion Boo Bams by Impact Soundworks does run in the free Contact Player 6.7 or higher. It's a unique percussion instrument with wooden chromatic percussion with three individual mic positions, four hit types with mallets, hot rod sticks, fingers, deep chromatic sampling, two octaves, and four dynamic layers, and four round robins with three stretched playable octaves total. There's 24 snapshots, and there are solo and ensemble modes. MB Gordy Percussion Boo Bams normally sells for $59. I'll include a link to take you over to Impact Soundworks first thing below. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Anytime there's a new instrument that nobody sampled before, I'm always eager to jump into it, and I've always liked what Impact Soundworks is doing. M.B. Gordy, a legend in the film scoring world with his performances on tons of scores, I've gotten to see him record in person myself, so this is a real treat to see he's teaming up with Impact Soundworks for libraries. Now, there are some really great demos that yeah, developers have mocked up with a great team of composers. I wanted to play around with it and try something just a tiny bit different to really use that percussion repetitively and arpeggios and see what uh, might be a different style than the normal epic or world instrument kind of sound that these are used for. Alright, I've got uh, MBG Boobams ready here. Um, you can see that it's a big boy interface and it's got two main pages. The console, this is this where you can add effects and whatnot. And the MBG Boobams. I'm going to start here. I've got a tiny loop, a uh, four bar loop where I changed up a little thing so we could just kind of flip through and hear the hit types and the solo instruments and the ensemble where you're playing back uh, all up to four of those articulations. So I'm just going to mute my mic and we'll listen to these. As you can hear there, the uh, fingers get a little lighter touch. These hot rods are a very distinct character. The mallets are more rounded and the sticks are very bitey without a lot of um, low mids there. I'm gonna go ahead and play the ensemble um, instrument and we'll play around with it. You can see we got a slop control here. I'm gonna leave it low at first because it definitely can get sloppy with, uh, with this library.
I think unless you're going for like a high school band kind of sound, I wouldn't really dial it over 31 myself just because of the nature of the slop that it adds to it. Uh, but there's a whole bunch more in this library. So I'm going to mute my mic and I'm going to play some more pre-recorded little patterns and we'll listen through some of these presets. I am digging some of these pre presets here. Tiki Tac's great. This Tycho-esque is really cool. This, um, I think it's the sub buzzer. Yeah, that almost sounds like, uh, I don't know. It reminds me of like a Warner Brothers cartoon, like the, what's his name? Um, I can't remember his name. Yeah, he used to write all that wacky, wacky stuff that Warner Brothers licensed. There's some really cool stuff in here. I think these presets give us a good idea of the range of what they could do with the instrument here. You can see the we're at the um, sub buzzer instrument. And for this instrument here, they have stretched us out more than three octaves. One, two, three, four, five, six octaves on this one. And that's all thanks to the effects. Uh, the one, the Tiki Tax, this really shows off the um, uh, how you play with the delay. And then the other one that I thought really stood out um, was the Tycho-esque. And I think it's because they've really tweaked the attack up a little bit more. And the sustain is all the way off. So all you're getting is the attack. You're not getting any of the body of the, the resonance of the sound. The click of MBG Boo Bams by Impact Soundworks. I'm loving the instrument. Uh, it's melodic percussion, but it really does kind of take it out somewhere um, real special with the console and the effects change you can use. The snapshots are really great. And of course, this is the first time this instrument's been recorded, and it is a secret, rep secret weapon. You're going to now notice Boo Bams in the scores you listen to, especially for a big movie and game soundtracks. I've shared some of my thoughts along the way, but I would love to hear yours. Please comment below. Is MGB Boobam something that you'll be using in your arsenal? Are you thinking of it for epic scores, trailer music? What do you think this will work for you? Something maybe that I haven't even thought of? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and head back around on Fridays for our weekly Deal Compressor show.